one of the big problems I think is is the seven twenty four always on news cycle where everything has to be live. Uh, everything speed is of the essence. Being first is of the essence, and particularly when there's a kind of fevered atmosphere around something like the you know appalling attack that we we saw ten days ago, um, uh, people want answers immediately. And of course, truth takes a long time to emerge sometimes. Uh, so one of the things that I observed, I'll, I'll be interested in other people's view of it, is that what would be conventional news gathering practices are not recognized or accepted. So when an event happens and you know a conventional news gathering practice is to find spokespeople and see what they say about it uh, and find other kind of authorities and ask them what information they have and so on as well. And in the always on 24 seven environment, reporters tweet that, that's the first quote they get, they tweet it and then they move on to make the rest of their calls to try and build up a picture of what's going on. But you know, social media takes the first thing they say, ignores the attribution to the spokesman and just says this organization has you know, affiliated with this viewpoint. Uh, when it hasn't, all it's done is to make the very first of perhaps dozens of inquiries in order to try and build up a very complicated picture. And the truth, the final settled view is gonna take hours, if not days or sometimes weeks to emerge. But the expectation is it's gonna have been settled and emerged in the very first um, post that anybody makes. Now that is simply you know, an unrealistic expectation. You, you could say, well, you know, then we need to help people understand all the rest of it. It's a very difficult thing to get around, but I think, I think perhaps news organizations need to explain their work more carefully. Uh, so it's easy to say, oh, we should all be transparent about our processes. It's quite difficult in a tweet or in a quick um, live two-way update or whatever. But they need to signal, look, this is the first of many, many calls. This is only a partial view. We're still working out to fill out the rest of what's happening. They need to be much more explicit about the process of news gathering so people can understand what's going on. Because actually news organizations tend to work in shorthand. You see online, you know, sources, claims just put in inverted commas because journalists understand that means it's, you know, an attributed view, not one that the organization subscribes to. But perhaps many, many of the readers don't understand that shorthand. So mm -hmm. I think news organizations have got to think about ways of being much more explicit and signaling much more clearly the process that's going on, because a lot of people don't understand it. And there are a lot of people who want to assume the worst. And there are bad actors who want to exploit that. And we've certainly seen a lot of that over the last few days. But one simple way of doing that, it, incredibly easy, is to start with what we know and what we don't know. And to make that a habit. And it's incredibly simple. It doesn't cost anything. It's what, 10, 12 words, but it could begin to address the very real problem you're laying out for us, Richard. 